Hello everyone, welcome back to another video by Simply Learn. In this video, we will learn about references in C++. So let's go ahead and have a look at what we'll be covering today. So we will learn what are references in C++, then the creation of references. After that, we will learn about reference in the function and returning the reference from the function. Next, we will have a look at the applications of references and understand the difference between reference and pointer. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. So first is, what are references in C++? A reference can be defined as an alternative name of the variable. As the name suggests, it is used to refer to an existing variable. It is basically used to store the reference of the variable and is stored using an ampersand sign. Although the reference and address are the same thing, but their context is different. When we are talking about reference variable, then we will call it reference rather than address. The variable can either be accessed with the help of variable name or by the reference name. So as we have understood about references in C++, so now let's learn how to create reference in C++. Let's suppose we have a variable named data and we know how to declare a variable. First, its data type, then the variable name, and then we will assign the value to the variable. Here int is the data type, data is the variable name, and 10 is the value that is assigned to the variable. If we want to declare a reference variable for the variable data, then it would be like this. First is the data type with ampersand sign, then the name of the reference variable equals to the variable name of which we are storing the reference of. As you can see, int ampersand ref, which is the name of the reference variable, equals to data, which is the name of the variable. So we can say ref is the reference variable for the data variable and it can be used instead of the variable name. Now, coming to reference in the function. We can pass the reference to the function as a parameter. It is similar to passing the pointers to the function, but it is safer. While passing the reference to the function, the changes made inside the function will also be reflected outside because after passing the reference to the function, the passed reference will access the actual argument. So the changes that are done to the parameter inside the function will affect the arguments. In addition, it is safer and provides a cleaner code. To pass the value as reference, all we need to do is to change the function parameter as reference type. As you can see in the calculation function, int ampersand a. Now let's learn about returning the reference in C++. Similar to pointers, references can also be returned. While returning the reference, an implicit pointer is also returned. In return by reference, no local variable is returned and no constant is returned. Only the global variable is returned. In return by reference, function calling is done on the left hand side of the assignment operator. As you can see in the example, n is returned from the function, but it is not the value that we are returning, but the address of the variable. When this variable is returned, then the value 15 is assigned to it, which is then printed as you can see in the example. Now, coming to applications of references in C++. So first is, references helps in modifying or changing the values inside the function without actually passing the actual arguments. Because we can easily pass the reference instead of variable and if we pass the reference to the function then also it can modify or change the values. Second is, references helps with operator overloading because unlike pointers, they work with references and values rather than pointer variables. Third is, references helps with writing less error prone code and by replacing values with references while calling avoids the unnecessary copy of data. So these were some applications of references in C++. Now let's understand the difference between reference and pointer. 
the reference can be defined as an alias of the variable. Here the word alias means additional name or we can say also known for the name. On the other hand, a pointer is used to store the memory address of the variable. Reference cannot have a null value whereas pointers can have a null value. References cannot be reassigned to other values whereas pointers can be reassigned to other values. It returns the reference of the variable. On the other hand, pointer returns the value located at the address of the variable. Reference can be initialized during its creation only. It cannot be reinitialized. Whereas, pointer can be initialized as many times as required. So these were some differences between reference and pointer. Now let's go ahead and do some examples of reference in C++ in our code editor that is VS Code. Alright, so here we will do an example of return by reference in C++. We all know how to return a value from a function. So now we will understand how can we return a reference from the function. Alright, so let's start. First of all, create a new folder and let's save it and name it as ref1.cpp. Now we will save it. Alright, so first of all we'll include the header files and then we'll start with the main function. Hash include io stream. Then the namespace standard. Now let's start with the main function. Inside the main function, first of all, like normally we'll do for the functions, we'll call, let's name the function as club. So this is how we normally call a function and after that we create a function like this like int club and then this is how normal calling works but in this case we want this function to return the reference and for that we have to use the ampersand sign. So we have used this ampersand sign and this is a syntax int which is the data type then the ampersand sign then the name of the function and if we want to pass any arguments then we can do that and keep in mind that inside this function we cannot return any local variable or any constant like we cannot return we cannot create a variable inside this function assign it some value and then return it we can't do that and we can only return the global variable. Let me show you that we cannot return this, return 8 as this is a constant and we can't do like this like int p equals to 9 and then we will return it, return p. We can't do like this as well. All we need to do is to create a global variable and then we will return. Alright, so let's create a global variable let's say the global variable is n and so we'll return n now if we want to assign some value to this global variable we have to call this club function and we have to make this calling on the left hand side of the assignment operator like this and now we have to assign the value like let's say the value is 75 so here we are assigning the value and calling this reference operator. We are assigning the value to this global variable, this n global variable. And in this part we are actually assigning this 75 value to this global variable n. Now we can print this n variable which is global and check if its value is 75 or not. Alright, so let's save it and let's try to run this. as you can see 75 so this is an example of return by reference in C++ now let's move on to another example alright now alright we know a reference cannot be reassigned that also means a single reference cannot refer to two different values but two different references can have a single value 
or in other words a value can have two different references so in this example we'll show how a value can have two different references so let's start doing this example first of all we'll include the header files hash include io stream now the namespace standard all right now inside the main function we will create a variable and two different references the variable is num and we will assign it a value let's say 70 and we will create two different references int num1 and 1 and we will assign it to num and n2 which is also signing to the same variable so there are two references n1 and n2 which are referring to the same variable num so now we will print this variable num and both of these reference variables that is n1 and n2 to check if they are pointing to the same value so let's do this we will write c out value of num is all right now again value of reference n1 is n1 and l similarly value of reference n2 is n2 and l all right so we have printed all of these variables and references and now return zero and let's check if they are running fine or not as you can see value of num is 70 value of reference n1 is 70 and n2 n2 reference is 70 so we can say all of these references and variables are pointing to the same value and the value of num can also be accessed by these reference variable n1 and n2 all right now let's do another example let's name it ref2.cpp so here we will do an example of references in c++ in which we will pass the reference into the function to swap the actual values basically we don't pass the actual arguments we only pass the references and swap the values so let's start so let's include the header files now we will create the main function and inside the main function we will declare two variables and assign the values int y 17 let's say now we will print first of all we will print before swapping right all right so now we will call the function swap we will create a function swap afterwards 
and we'll pass not the values but the references and then we can similarly copy this one and just paste it again and we'll do that after swapping here we have to do before swapping right so first of all we'll print the value of x and y before swapping then we will print the values of x and y after swapping so now we have to create the definition or write the definition of swap function so let's write void swap and do remember that here we are passing the references not the values so we have to write like this int ampersand and one this is how when we are passing the values we have to write like this and int ampersand and 2 here this n1 is referring to x and this n2 is referring to y and inside this swap function we'll simply swap as we know how to swap int temp equals n1 then we'll do n1 equals n2 we all know how to swap to here we haven't passed the values actually we have passed the reference and using those references we are swapping the values so now let's try to run this save it and let's run this as you can see before swapping x value is 12 and y value was 17 after swapping 17 and 12 so as we can see clearly that the value is swapped so we can say using the references or by passing the references to a function we can actually swap the values so this also proves that references can access the values so these were some examples of references in c++ references in c++ is a very simple topic and there are very limited examples on this topic and if you find some more examples, please do try them. Alright guys, with that we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope it really helped you all. Thanks for watching, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.